Hey everyone, it's Liz and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really, really, really easy DIY project and it's kind of just like an idea because anyone can do this. It's so easy and super fast to do. I did it within like 10 minutes. So it is a rhinestone headband for the winter time because it's really cold over here on the east coast. I know all the people in the west coast are living it up in the sun over there but it's very freezing here in the east coast. So a headband is always something super super important to wear when you go outside because you want to protect your ears, you want to protect your face, everything. If you have curly hair like me and you always wear it in bun then doing this would be so easy and yeah really simple to do. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. There'll be a subscription little button over here. If you're on a mobile device, it should be somewhere down below to subscribe. And there's also a little tiny bell. If you want to know whenever I post a video, all you have to do is just click on that bell and then you will get a notification on whenever I do a video, which is hopefully like two videos a week. I'm going to try um, my best to do that and let's, let's just let's get this ball rolling for 2017. You know, I'm ready. This is my time to... My time to shine. Get it? Because my rhinestones, they're shiny. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Anyway, without further ado, let's get on with this video because it's so simple, so easy. Let's do this. <laughs> So first off, what you're going to need is some strong glue. I'm using the E600. This is like really intense glue, so just be careful with it. I have rhinestones. I have tweezers. These ones are like kind of like sewing tweezers, but they're good for picking up gems and stuff too. And all you need is a headband as well. This one I got from Forever 21, probably about like two or three years ago. Um, and I'm just getting kind of board fit and I wanted to put some jewels on it. I forgot to also mention that you don't need E600 glue, um, you can always use fabric glue as well, that will work just as fine too, but I happen to have this here so I was like, well, I might as well use it. <laughs> Alright, so what you're going to do is you're going to take the E600 glue and I'm going to put like a dollop of it on this piece of paper just from the rhinestone package, so it'll just make it easier. All right. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take a jewel. I'm just going to dip it into the glue real quick. And then you're going to place it on your item. Like so. This is like so simple and so easy. I kind of feel stupid doing a tutorial on it. But I mean at the same time, something to learn, right? Right, and then you're just going to put the jewels on sporadically. Be seeing ya. Yeah, I hope not sporadically. It would also help too if you had one of those like jewel things where you um, could pick up the jewels with like the little, oh, what is it? Like it's like a wax tip almost like, and then it helps get the jewels on and off. And remember, a little glue goes a long way. All you have to do is just place it on. And it's like super, super easy, I know. And there you have it. That's all you have to do to put on the jewels. I'm gonna go and do the rest of them now. Voila! And there you have it. Now you have your own uh, bejeweled headband for the winter because obviously it is freezing cold and we all need to stay warm. And with me being like, when I, when I have curly hair, like I can't put my hair in a hat, so I like putting my hair in headbands. And I saw this really cute one from Francesca's that I really, really loved, and I kind of thought to myself, well, I mean, I could spend like 15, 20 bucks on this, or I could use my old headband that I had already that was in perfect condition and just bejewel it. So that's kind of like what I did, you know? I really, really love this. I'm so excited. I can't wait to wear it today. Um, it was really easy, and like I said, all you need is rhinestones, some glue, and a pair of tweezers or even better the one that like you can get the um, little rhinestones off of but I think it has like a wax bottom like pencil thing um, but yeah that's it alright well that is it uh, if you do this yourself make sure you send me a picture my Instagram is at Elizabeth Hope or you can also follow me on Twitter and send me a picture that way as well and it's the same thing at Elizabeth Hope everything is Elizabeth Hope which is me Alright, so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!